Hey, Math 30 2 today we're going to look at some Venn diagrams. All right, so if we're thinking about Venn diagrams, let's take a quick look at the review from last lesson. Recall that A is a set of natural numbers less than 20 divisible by 3. B is a set of natural numbers less than 20 divisible by 5. Use appropriate notation, list a set of whole numbers less than 20 that are divisible by 3. So there they are. These numbers, the set of whole numbers divisible by 3. Here's a set of whole numbers, natural numbers, sorry, less than 20 that are divisible by 5. Divisible by 3 and 5, well, that would be the intersection. So A intersect B divisible by 3 and 5. And so there's the natural numbers less than 20 that are divisible by 3 and 5. And then we've got D the natural numbers less than 20 that are divisible by 3 or 5, so that would be the union of A or B. So there's our natural numbers less than 20 that is divisible by 3 or 5. So keeping those in mind, we can draw a Venn diagram of that. So the relationship between set A and B and the universal set U is illustrated visually in this Venn diagram. Elements of each set are marked with a dot to distinguish them from the number of elements in each set. So, number divisible by 3 and 5 is located in the intersection overlap of the two circles. All right, so if we look at that part, here's the intersection, the overlap of the two circles. The number is divisible by 3 or 5 is located within both circles. So, that would be both these circles. And the numbers in the universal set that are not in set A or not in set B are located with, within the rectangle but outside the circles. So all this stuff within the rectangle but outside the circles. All right. That's not A, not B. Beautiful. In each of the following Venn diagrams, then shade the region represented by the given set. So, the intersection of two sets, set A and set B, right there. The union of two sets, set A or set B, that would be both circles. And the complement of set A or that which is not A. So not A is everything outside the circle A. All right, so there's the set that is not A. Consider the following two sets from the review of, on page on the previous page. We're still talking about sets A and B. Lightly shade the region representing the given set. Describe each set in terms of A and or B using connecting words. And then determine the number of elements in the set. So do three things. So shade set A. Step one, shade set A. Well, here's set A. Step two, state it. Well, set A written in set notation is like that. Just like it says, set A. And then it wants the number of elements in set A. So if you count... There are six elements in set A, six elements inside circle A. Shade set B, well, here's set B. We shade that, define it, well, that's set B. And the number of elements in set B are three. There are three numbers inside that circle. Shade the set that is not A, so... The elements that are not A, A prime, we've done that on the previous one. All the parts that are not A are everything around the circle. Everything but circle A. All right. So that's a symbol for not A. 
and then the number of elements not in A, we add those up. 19 less 6 is 13. All right. Shade set not B. So if I want to shade set not B, just like we did set not A, everything that isn't B. So you shade around the circle, everything that's not that circle. All right. Nice. So there is not B. How does that look? B prime. And the elements, number of elements in not B would be 19 less 3, or 16. Let's look at shading A union, sorry, intersect B. A intersect B, which is A and B. That's right here. How many elements are in A intersect B? One element. So number 15, there's one element there. Shade the set A union B. A union B. So everything in the two circles, A or B. All right, so that's how we should write it. A or B. Number of elements in A union B would be 6 add 2 is 8. Next page. Shade the set not A intersect with B. Not A intersect with B. So we looked at what not A was last time. If we intersect that with B, it is just this section. So not A intersected with B. That's how we'd write it. Not A. And intersection means and B. So not A and B. Number of elements in not A intersect B would be two. There's only two elements in the shaded section. On to the next one. Shade the set A union not B. A union not B. So everything in A. Shade A. Or everything not in B. So that's all the stuff that's not in circle B. So all that stuff gets shaded. And that's what it should look like. Beautiful. Uh, what is that? A or not B? That's what that means. A or not B. A union B prime, A or not B, and the number of elements in A union not B. If we add all those up, it's everything but 2, so 19 less 2 is 17. Looking at the next one, shade the set not A intersect not B. So not A intersect not B. Well, not A is everything outside circle A including the stuff that's in B, and then the stuff that's not B can't be circle B. So there is the shaded section four. Not A intersect not B. So not A and not B. So there's a shading for not A and not B. How many elements? What are the number of elements and not A intersect not B. So the shaded section there, if you count that up, looks like the shaded section has 11 elements. Next one, let's shade not A union with not B. <clears throat> so now all things that are not A, if I shade all things that are not A, let's do that first, all things that are not A, look like this. There's all the things that are not A. Union means or. Then all the things that are not B. So here are all the things that are not B. So that's the shading for not A union with not B. See what it looks like? 
not A, not B. Number of elements in not A unioned with not B would be all but one, so 18. Last couple. Shade A union B and then the knot of it. So A union B would be this section. Now if I want to shade everything that's not that, then I'm going to shade everything that's not that. Exactly. Everything but that part. Alright, so we're going to shade everything but that. That's what it should look like. Very nice. And that's going to be not A and B. And the number of elements in A intersect B not would be uh, 18. And finally, let's shade A union B and then what that isn't. So recall this is A union B. Well, we don't want A union B, we want not A union B, so everything but that. All right, everything but that. So that's the shading for not A or B. It's the number of elements in A union B not. Yeah, those up, we get 11. So if you have a quick look at the last four we did, you'll notice that these two are the same and these two are the same. So we just look at the shading, those two are the, those sets are the exact same. And it says it down here at the bottom, as demonstrated in the previous lesson. You can see that's also true in the Venn diagrams. Beautiful. All right, let's just look at that next page. Use Venn diagrams to list the elements of the following sets. So the elements in set P are 1, 2, 8, 9, 10. All the ones in that circle. 1, 2, 8, 9, 10. The elements in set Q in that circle are 1, 7, 10, and 29. The elements in P and Q, well, that means the intersection, what's common. So this is going to be 1 and 10. And P or Q, that's the union, so we're going to write those all down. 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 29. Not P. The elements that are not P would be 7 and 29, but also the numbers that are outside 11 and 16. And the elements that are not Q, well, they'd be the ones that are in circle P, 2, 9, and 8, but also 11 and 16. not P and not Q. So if they're not P and not Q, they're the numbers that are outside those two circles. Not P and not Q are 11 and 16. Not P or not Q. Well, those are all the ones except for the intersection. So we're looking at uh, 2, 9, and 8, 7, and 29. Those are not P union with not Q, 11 and 16 as well. All right. 11, 16, and 29. Yep. Not P or Q. So which ones are not P or Q? Well, P or Q are all of these listed we just listed there on, on the last one in H, so not P or Q would be 11 and 16. And finally, not P and Q. Well, again, P and Q were listed up here as 1 and 10. So all the ones that are not 1 and 10. So that's 2, 9, 8, 7, 29, 11, and 16. All right, which two sets are identical? Well, we can see these are.